KHL into weather, Kamaka Pili. I have been waiting for this moment where we're gonna start to see more shower activity and rain across the islands. This is the first storm of this winter season we're seeing. So if you take a peek on Kauai, all the islands will kind of be following the same structure where we are going to be seeing mostly cloudy skies across the islands throughout the day. But as we get through the afternoon, rain chances will increase. That's going to be up to some locally heavy showers and even the chance of thunderstorm activity that will progress throughout the islands and for the days to come. Today, completely different story. It was very quiet, but we did have a lot of haziness and some upper level clouds moving over the islands to block out some of that sun. And we do have that stretched across all the islands with this upper level uh, radar what we're seeing is we can see the thunderstorms moving through these clouds as well we have some moving in from the west over Kauai and some coming down uh, coming up from south of Hawaii Island which have been seeing some thunderstorms taking off um, offshore but not any on or over the island just yet our threat for our Ua and our Hekili our thunderstorms that remains elevated for the days to come ahead of us for our ocean conditions quite quiet one to three for the east and the south but a nice little bump yet again seven to ten up north four to six for the west facing shores now if you take a look at what's taking place around the islands we have this cold front that's attached to that storm system that low pressure system north of the islands that's going to be moving slowly over the west end of the state where that low pressure that core of the system moves up towards the northeast so that's what we're going to be looking at the few days ahead of us so if we situate ourselves on monday our po'akahi we're still going to see that cold front over the islands but behind that there's going to be yet another cold front another storm system so we could be seeing some improvement on the latter portion of the week but then we could yet again see a showers fall. Now, what we're going to be seeing, we're looking at around midnight right now. We have this band of moisture over Hawaii Island. We've been seeing an uptick of showers this evening for friends and family there. We have the cold front northwest of Kauai. And as you can see, the winds pushing in that frontal boundary, winds from behind that cold front pushing that down. So as we progress through our Sunday tomorrow, we're going to see both of those systems kind of reinforce itself over Oahu. So right now we're looking at Monday to start off the week. We're really going to see moisture linger around all islands, but most and that core of that system really looks to linger over Kauai and Oahu. We're progressing to Wednesday where we are going to continue to see moisture lingering around. The threat of thunderstorms that kind of decreases especially around Monday or so so that shouldn't be posing too much of a threat. As we get through Thursday drier conditions we should see a slight return of the trade winds. I say slight because it could be more of a southeasterly flow. Don't expect any strong easterly flow of the trade winds anytime soon. We aren't expecting that in our extended forecast but then once we get through next weekend, that next cold front could be playing around of wet weather yet again. So if we take a look tomorrow, county by county, mostly cloudy skies, that threat of isolated shower activity remains. It's more isolated. The thunderstorm activity is taking place when we have a surge of moisture move through like we've been seeing for Hawaii Island. That's when those thunderstorms could be triggering off. So it won't be widespread, but the showers will remain scattered, if not likely, across the islands for the next day or so, especially for tomorrow. That threat slowly starts to diminish as we get into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday slowly start to improve where Thursday, Friday could be back to a little more drier, typical trade wind weather, but variable winds return next weekend with that next cold front coming about. Sam, I give it back to you.